In this video, we're going to cover adding edibles into our product catalog. Now let's add an edible. Let's select the addition symbol at the top right of the page to bring up our add new product window. This window will automatically default to our accessories. Let's select the accessories and click the edibles from the dropdown. The more robust we build this window out, the more your customer will see if utilizing a third party live menu integrator like iHeartJane, Dutchie, and Leafly. Now some of these integrators differ with what information will be presented on your live menus. If you plan to integrate with one of these, please reach out to your third party online menu rep to make sure that you're adding the necessary data. Also, the details we put in here will be available for your bud tenders to view while in the cashier tab. The first field is going to be where we enter our brand. Next we have our product name. The best practice is to include the brand first in the product name, followed by the specific flavor, the type, and total milligram count of THC in the edible. In this case, I'm going to have my brand as Flowhub. And my product name will read Flowhub Mooncake. Lastly, I'm going to enter the total milligrams of THC that is in the package. In this case, it'll be 100 milligrams or 100 mg. Now that we have our product name in the system, let's enter our type field. The type field will act as a subcategory within the edibles category. Flowhub gives you the ability to get creative with your subcategories. A couple of examples of an edibles product type would be hard candies, baked goods, gummies, chocolates, etc. We can utilize this field filtering reports by type and even for creating specials based on type. I'm going to put baked goods in as my product type. The next field is going to be the par level. The par level feature within the platform is a valuable tool used for inventory management. The number we enter here is going to be the minimum amount of this item we want to have in stock before we need to order more. Within the reports new section, we can build and schedule the PAR levels report to give us accurate up-to-date inventory levels. We will be going over this in phase three. Next, we have the option of adding an image and a description. These fields are optional and can be used internally for our bud tenders. If we're gonna utilize a third-party live menu integrator like iHeartJane, Leafly, or Dutchie, they may have this information already available. Please check with your rep about this. Now let's add our total milligram counts of CBD and THC. This is gonna be for the entire package, not per serving. Depending on your state regulations, the milligrams of THC will contribute to your cannabis counter. Next, we'll want to select whether this package is childproof or not. Lastly, we wanna add our pre-tax price and our cost for the product. Now that that's complete, let's save this window and we'll see our first edible product populate in our catalog. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page, filled out the window, saved and added an edible to our product catalog. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button on your email or at mention us in the notes of the task.